This is a can of Altoids Curiously Strong Mints. This is a tin of the new Mamba 20x20 MK3 stack. And both of these things will add a much needed amount of freshness to your life. That's right, the new Mamba 20x20 MK3 is out. It has gotten rid of the really nice plastic cases that are great for holding little screws and giving you this metal tin. And as you unlock the freshness inside, oh, just take a whiff of it. It comes with all of these great Mamba accessories, these cards that I don't know what this is for. Uh, but it does come with some really nice documentation that we'll cover on the bench and some Mamba stickers. And as you can see, this is the MK3 version 35 amp. It takes from 3 all the way up to 6S and has a 45 amp burst on there. Really cool. Of course, the tried and true MPU 6000 gyro is on there and has a nice 3.5 five amp back now as you open this thing up you get some of these new stop mamba stickers pretty cool a little card that is for who knows what and right off the back you have some really nice looking instructions on a card it has all of the specs right here and i really like that it kind of gives you a legend of what the pads are for each kind of thing and all of the different other little sets that you need. It tells you you have six UARTs, really cool. And here is um, the things that you're gonna wanna use for the ESC right here. And then for the flight controller, this is really nice, has the whole thing laid out for you. I mean, it's screen printed on the board itself. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so never mind. And here is the V3 Mamba itself. Check this thing out. Now, I really like that they're moving towards these gummy little things on the bottom. And they're moving towards little gummies in the middle, the little purple ones. Here's the old packaging. This is the V2 that is good to 4S at 20 by 20. Let's see if there's any major differences in the layout. And right off the bat, you can see that there are a few differences. If we have the USB pointed upwards, you know how some of these pads moved around. So I have the harness at the front on both. Um, you have these pads on this side, these pads on this side. And I like that they give you a few breakout pads in the middle here for your LEDs. Instead of just having them all around the outside, that is actually pretty nice. This one has an arrow indicator as far as which one is front. Of course, in here, you have a second set of full gummies for the middle and the bottom, and then some tiny little um, nuts. You also have your XT60, your wire, a spare harness, a little bit of heat shrink for that section, and then a capacitor. Look how much bigger this capacitor is. This is a 470 35 uh, capacitor. And if you remember the Mamba V2 20 by 20 comes with an XT30 and a really small capacitor. This one comes with an XT60. So um, if you're gonna put it on a micro, which you absolutely can, you're gonna wanna provide your own XT30. But I like that. That really gives me confidence in order to install it on a full size build. Um, the old Mamba has long been the standard. I've used it in so many builds, both the full size and the micro. I have this V2 in this Ethics Cinerat um, Cinerate build right here. Um, and it's just a great low price option. Now, the old version was like 38 bucks. So you are gonna pay a little bit more for this one to be able to use it on a full size build and have a little bit of that extra power because the old one I think was only good for 20 amp, 25 amp burst. This one is 35 amp, 45 amp burst. So this is absolutely good for a full size racing quad or freestyle quad. 
um, it's gonna keep your overall weight low. The ESC layout looks mostly unchanged, but I like that it always comes with this little sticker that tells you what each wire is um, right here. Um, you have pads on the ESC on the top and the bottom, so you can run your wires on either orientation. A lot of the things I like to do on those two and a half and three inch builds, like uh, Catalyst Machine Works Master Journal, was to solder the wires on the bottom so that the top would look just like that. It would look so clean, such a clean result at the end of your build with this type of a stack. This is powerful enough for a five inch with a 35 amp rated ESC that has a 45 amp burst. I am going to feel totally confident installing that on any of my five inch 6S racing builds. I'll feel totally confident installing it on any of my five inch freestyle builds, even with large motors. The Mamba has been one of the unsung heroes of FPV. It has allowed you to get in for a budget price, have good performance, and fly, but now they are shedding that budget idea, um, not by increasing the price drastically, but by increasing the performance. I think that anybody can feel just as safe with a Mamba stack. And while the V2 was a very, very low $38, this one, the price has increased to $60, a little bit less if you catch it on sale, uh, but $60 for a fully 6s stack that's only 20 by 20 that will leave you with a lot of weight will leave you with a light weight build and will leave you able to sleep comfortably at night knowing that your components will be perfectly safe in the hands of diatone save yourself a little bit of money stacks are 80 dollars 90 dollars um, they've actually come down a lot i remember when all the premium stacks were 100 dollars or above and now you can get this premium stack for only 60 bucks outstanding thanks diatone comes with everything you need comes with the wires comes with the harness comes with a spare harness comes with the capacitor i mean what else do you want someone from diatone to come over to your house and hook it up for you that's about the only other thing they could do that doesn't come in this little tin thanks guys